एवरीवन आई होप यू ऑल आर डूइंग ग्रेट माय नेम इज अंजली एंड आई एम अ एच डी टू एट माइक्रोसॉफ्ट टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू बी डिस्कसिंग व्हाट आर द टिप्स यू नीड टू कंसीडर एट वेन एवर यू आर गिविंग एनी बैक एंड कोडिंग इंटरव्यू सो यू नो वेन एवर वी अप्लाई फॉर एनी ऑफ द कंपनी वी आर गोइंग टू बी हैविंग सम डिफरेंट सेट ऑफ राउंड एंड इन दोज राउंड यू विल हैव टू यू नो बेस्ड अपॉन द जॉब प्रोफाइल यू विल बी हैविंग डिफरेंट सेट ऑफ क्वेश्चन some questions could be on the back end some could be on the front end some could be on the full stack okay so today our focus is actually on the back end on the screen you can see all the different tips uh, mentioned and we are actually going to be discussing everything one by one so let's get started so the first one which you can see on the screen is practice on paper and why it is actually emphasized here that is because you know i'm telling you from my own interview experience when i was giving interviews instead of asking theory and all people were actually giving me a paper and pen and they were asking that okay just write down what encapsulation is so they were not interested into the bookish theory they just wanted to see how i can actually incorporate the same into my code so it's a very good practice that whenever you are practicing some concepts instead of just focusing on the theory you also consider the code for the same and instead of just you know revising it out write it down because i'm telling you the mistakes even which i have done so previously i was just you know looking into the theory or writing the code on the screen when it comes about paper my speed was not that great because now we are not students anymore so writing on a piece of paper is actually time taken process so that was actually taking a lot of my time so this is my advice to all of you practice whenever you have to practice practice always on paper the next one is collecting the best resources for learning so you know a lot of people are actually confused from where to learn they will learn certain things from one and then they will learn from another and then they will be confused that which one is correct so you should have at least some crisp sources from where you can go ahead and revise and you know you can just brush up on your skill and for all of that i can i have actually mentioned all the things on the screen you can just take the screenshot or you can pause the video and go through it all right and this is going to be super helpful for you now the next one which we have here is do mock interviews so you know when it comes about mock interviews it is like you know replicating the same interview process a lot of people have interview anxiety i am also one among them so i remember when i was giving one of the interview i was quite quite nervous and i was literally shivering so what you guys can do you can actually take help from various sources where they actually take the mock interviews or if you have some friends who are already working in some companies you can ask them to take your mock interviews this will help you in gaining your confidence plus they will also help you in correcting so when you will be giving your actual interview you can actually be presenting the best version of you the next one which we have is write down your mistakes so you know what i used to do when i was giving interviews i was always carrying a pen and paper with me and i used to write down the questions which they were asking me at the same time if i was not able to answer them or if they were telling me that hey your answer is wrong so i was also writing it down so that after my interview i can go back and revisit and i can actually improve on my shortcomings so this is something which will help you a lot plus what i have observed in the different companies they will be having some similar pattern of questions so if you will write down the questions which were asked in one interview they are for sure going to help you in the another company as well not all the companies but is for few of the companies okay the next one is working on software design skills so you know coding interviews are actually important they are but you need to uh, keep this in your mind that they are not just your coding interviews but solving the real life problem and when it comes about real life problem you will have to make a lot of decisions and those are going to be involving uh, example if i want to create a class should it be uh, static or should it be sealed or whatsoever and all of those decisions are going to be based upon how i am going to be consuming it later so it's always a good practice to work on your system design then next one is listen to every detail so you know what happens in the interviews i have seen a lot of people they will just um, listen to the question partially and then they will straight away start giving the answers for that which is not at all a good approach you listen to the requirements clearly and then you focus into the implementation part because 
even when you will be joining that company this is something which you will be using there as well you will be given problems and based upon the correct and precise requirements you will have to solve them the next one which we have here is company specific preparation so you know we actually spend a lot of time just focusing upon what your uh, tech stack is but you should also be spending some of your time where you are researching about the company and that is going to be helping you not even in the interviews but also in ensuring that you are actually going at the right place because some people regret later so when you are going to be doing the company research beforehand that is going to be giving you a clear picture that what the company is targeting at do you see growth there and uh, even in the HR round, sometimes the companies will ask you that, okay, what do you know about us? So it will be really helpful you, uh, helpful for you there. Okay. The next one is speak your thoughts. So a lot of times what happens like, you know, uh, let's just focus about some candidate ABC. All right. Now that person ABC has spent a lot of his time in preparation, but the interviewer doesn't know about him. Right. So. If you are not speaking your thoughts, how the person will understand that what is your thought process? Like, let us say I'm giving you one question, sort an array. You are straight away using a sort function and giving me the solution. How will I understand that you also knew how to write down the code for sorting? Make sense? So you should speak your thoughts that, hey, listen, for this problem, I know the brute force. I know the better approach and the time complexity is this and that, like, you know, Keep on communicating with them. When you are communicating, you are actually going to be telling them the knowledge which you have gained over the past few years. The next one is write clean code. If you will see when, uh, like, you know, when a person starts tech, uh, writing on a piece of paper, we keep on writing something, then keep on cutting. But our teachers taught us that, hey, write on in a clean manner. And why it is important? Because nobody appreciates something which is not very clear to us right same happens with the code i have seen a lot of people writing code like one logic one side another logic another side linking them in a very weird manner you should always write it in a clean manner because a code should be easy to read easy to understand okay the last one which we have is text uh, test your code so you know whenever we are going to be writing our code it should be testable as well we in microsoft like you know whenever we have to introduce even a single line of code our approach is to write down some test code behind that so that we can ensure that before this line of code the code uh, like you know how the working was and after adding that one extra line of code how the working has been improved so all of these things are quite quite helpful all right so I hope after helping you out with all of those things, you must have gained a lot of confidence and a lot of knowledge. And this is something which is going to help you in your interviews. So best of luck, guys, and I'll see you in the next video. If you haven't subscribed to the Talent 500 channel, please go ahead and do that. And also share this video with your friends so that they can also get benefited. All right. Bye bye.